Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's a good day. Um, it's going to be the day that I go from having two halves of an Evo engine. Um, by the end of the video, I'll have one single long block. So uh, mentally, you know, it's quite an achievement to just have it all back together. Uh, we've got the head gasket here, head studs, cylinder head and the block. So um, I'm looking forward to making a start. Let's turn the camera around and I'll give you a quick recap on what we've actually done to get to this point. Okay, so if you've been following the videos, you'll know exactly what all this is here. But um, if you haven't been following, I'll give you a quick recap. But obviously I do encourage you to go back and watch the other videos. Now, my main my block was a write-off. Um, so I actually had this I bought a few years ago as a dart and sleeve block. Uh, it's been decked, bored, and fully gone over. Um, and then it was bored out to a, a 2.1. We've got Wiseco pistons, Bridgeway I-beam comrades, a reground crank with King Racing bearings. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the short block. So as you will probably know, that engine should be able to hold all the power that we can throw at it. Um, cylinder head. Really, the standard Evo 10 heads, they're pretty good. Um, but when I was just doing some basic maintenance on this, which is in the previous video, um, we found a few issues that needed to be resolved. So, how to relap all the exhaust valves, replace the intake valves with GSC power division valves, uh, GSC power division uh, valve stem seals, Supertech dual valve springs and titanium retainers. So pretty much uh, a built valve train. Um, here we got ARP head studs and nuts which are reused from the last build. You can reuse ARP head studs, I think it's five times. Um, and then we got a MLS, so multi-layer steel. Uh, Cometic head gasket, so um, very high end gasket, should do the job for what I need out of it. A lot of work to get to this point. Now I, I suppose I'd best set the camera and make a start on installing the cylinder head. So before we go actually installing the cylinder head, there's a few things I've got to do first. So the first thing I had to do was phone up Rossport and order some more parts. Uh, one of the parts was this. It's basically uh, like an inline oil filter. It sits in the deck of the block there. And what it has done is, the old one, it picked up some metal shavings when the engine blew and it actually saved the cylinder head so there was no scoring or anything on the cams um, but obviously it's a good idea to just replace it since it's only about 10 quid also when they decked the block they had to remove these little locating dowels so I've got two of them so I'm going to have to fit them as well so looking at the Mitsubishi manual um, the filter block it goes in looks like a little torpedo well the rear of the torpedo the little fins they go at the top there and they sit flush um, I know the dowels go in here it doesn't actually show them on the manual but I know that's where they go so one by one you want to dip the thread of the stud into some engine oil and put them all in so we work our way around like that So ARP recommend you just tighten these studs hand tight. But the trouble with that is how tight is hand tight? Now Speed Academy had an Evo and they blew a head gasket. They were putting the studs on hand tight. Um, and obviously they had a head gasket failure immediately. Every time I've ever fit ARP head studs, I've always torqued them to 10 Newton meters. I've never had head gasket go, so I'm going to keep doing it. 
Okay, so now the head studs are in installed and torqued up, I've got to apply a little bit of sealant. Now you can't just use any old cheap sealant from the shop. Something like this, you really want to be using proper stuff like Loctite SL5699, that's one I've got. Apparently that's the exact formula Mitsubishi used in the factories. So that's why I go with that. Um, there's a lot of different Loctite ones you can get, all, all of them pretty good. You've got different applications, like a friend of mine bought one, it was black and it was non-setting. So obviously you don't want to be using that um, on most jobs that you do on your Evo, because he, he was having leaking issues then. So pay attention to the sealant you use and get a really good one. Like that little tube there was 40 odd quid I think. Which is a lot isn't it for silicone but I really don't want this leaking. Okay so we're getting somewhere. Now I'm just going to install the head gasket. It does say on the head gasket which side is up. So there it says up. So that's what way up is going to go. So Mitsubishi say I gotta do the same on the top. I gotta to put more silicone down here. And I think I need to get a bit on this edge, like a big nice blob of it. probably easier now to fit to apply the ARP lube so you have to put it on otherwise the torque specs won't be accurate Gonna rub it into all the threads. It's much easier to do it with the head off. So the torque specs ARP give apparently is very uh, it's calibrated to this particular grease. So if you use like engine oil, which is usually what people do, um, then the torque the friction on the threads will be different so effectively you could have torqued it out of spec one last look at the beautiful pistons hopefully never to be seen again hopefully but you know the way things seem to go around here we'll be seeing them soon okay so now I'm ready to basically slide the cylinder head onto um, the studs. I'm just going to make sure there's no bits of grease protruding too far because I don't want it affecting the head gasket if it gets onto the surface. Okay, so here goes. Time to lower the head on. There it is. Obviously I've got some tape on the intake ports. We'll have a better look now once it's uh, been fully installed. One thing I did do, although it's not required, I bought some brand new nuts. Um, because 
some of the threads were looking a little bit, not threads, the head of the nuts were looking a little bit uh, sus. So I decided to um, just replace them, okay, you see. So I've got to get these washers in, so I put the screwdriver in the middle and then the washer just slides down then. You can't go anywhere else. Okay, so it's time to torque the head studs now. Um, I've already torqued number one to 30 foot pounds, which was that one. Then we've got to go uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So start at 30, then 60, then 90, and then it's done. Boom, so there it is. The head is now on, fully torqued up and fully sealed. Um, just put some shop towels into the uh, spark plug holes. I was thinking of fitting the plugs, but when I'm timing it up, I need the plugs out so that there's no compression. So here we can see the, um, the silicone here that's just squelched out as it's been torqued. So we just want to smooth that out. Uh, that's going to be getting its own seal at a later date. There we go. So, um, yeah, pretty happy with that. I've now got a single engine on the side. Um, all I've got to do now, fit the camshafts, um, check the clearances, then timing chain, sump, oil pump, rocker cover, and we're done. So, uh, yeah, not far now. We're like 85% done on the engine. So, yeah, really exciting stuff. So thanks for watching the video. Steve-o, won't be too long now, and hopefully he'll be running. Um, depends if I decide to build that gearbox, because if I do, then obviously that's going to be a separate build in itself. But for now, the engine's nearing completion. So thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.